So I saw Naughty's live yesterday and him apparently him and one of the staff was going crazy. It was getting threatening. So I had to hop up in the whip and see what the mess is going on. You just put holy water on your body. So now you're taping you the law, nigga. I beat so it. I beat it. Except if I slap you, you don't go call the police. You don't call the police. You don't call the police. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I call the right person. Don't hit me. You the police. Don't hit me. 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 Don't h
It's not for everybody. This job ain't for everybody. Yeah, this job for everybody. No, it's not, bro. You. I got something for you. What you gonna do? It's right here. Put it on, mama. It's right here. Everything right here. You threatening me. Let's go. Tell us things. Tell big celebrity. Tell us. I know big celebrity. Yeah, she was coming down off something. She shouldn't have done that to him. I don't like the fact that she threatened his life. You don't tell somebody. And I was telling him, like, you got proof. And she was literally threatening his life. She was like, you're going to die. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die. Rolled up with some girls that look like, I don't know, what, worse than me right now. Sorry, y'all. No, you good. You but good. they rolled up and surrounded him. And he, bar none, bar none. But, you know. That's we, crazy. We tried to help him. And, and he calmed down after a while. But it was, you know, ugly. You ain't no motherfucking man. You ain't no piece of trash. Oh, yeah. Man, no I'm talking to motherfucking Texas. I'm talking to Texas, bitch. Bitch, your mama beat you. Man, hold on. It's on air. 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 It's on yeah. All right, man. So what the heck went down yesterday? That was crazy, cuz. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was laughing when I was watching some of that. But what, 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 what was she on? Oh. Uh, my shit got hit, like, twice. But I'm gonna go ahead and just... So I, I come back. Boom. Give me something to eat, I come back. Oh, when I come back, she was like this on the thing. Oh, I like, what up, hey? She's like, what up? That shit I ain't seen right, bro. Boom, I go up, come back. I, when I come up, I look in my room. I'm like, hell no, nah, couch, all that shit. Anyway, I come back, when I go back downstairs, I tell her, I don't go. Quit playing with me, man. I don't go. Quit playing with me, just quit. Just quit playing with me. Bitch ass nigga. She started threatening. She got geeked up. She I'll kill something. you. Nigga, you will die. I'll kill you. I'm... Oh, yeah, Mr. Celebrity. Uh, you see? Oh, Mr. Celebrity. Oh, yeah, Mr. What? Hey, you saw me some Reggie. I, I will not uh, sell nothing. What you wrong with you, man? <laughs> you tripping, so I'm looking at the eye. That motherfucker like a demon, so... I go outside, don't, don't cap the woman, old woman, she has some holy water, she give it to me, she say, get back from over there. I put it all on me. <laughs> what? I put it on me on everything. She was definitely demonized, uh, bro. I, I put it all on me, Bloom, I put it all on me. We chilling, she come out there. <laughs> nigga, she come out there, as soon as she come out there, bitch ass nigga, that's when I had enough. Man, you tripping. Oh, nigga, hit me. I said, oh, that's what you on, you trying to trick me. I got something for your bitch ass, nigga, when she, at the end of the day, nigga, four dice come. Four. Pulled up. What? Jumped out the car. I'm, they just tap us the pile say, man, she too disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? But she been doing this. So I guess they know her reputation. You know what I'm saying? For her been doing this type of shit. So I'm like, man, she really tripping like, bro, what's wrong with you? So people coming up like, yeah, man, she been hating on you for like a month. You ain't know a nigga. I don't like him. You know what I'm saying? People come and tell me, you know who he is? But you, hey, I'm like, damn, my nigga, you need a cigarette here, here, here. I ain't tripping. Like, damn, what's wrong with you? What gets you in your head and your mind to possess you to say the things you said? And this is your job. I'm in the Roosevelt's, right? I'm in my apartments in the Roosevelt's and shit. And uh, I come in my apartments and shit. And um, the woman was like, I said, how you doing? Ain't she was like, don't talk to me, so I go up in my shit, like my shit been ran through or whatever, so for my comeback downstairs, and I tell her, like, hey, don't try me, I don't go, I don't go, so she just start, fuck nigga, bitch ass nigga, so I start immediately recording her, you know what I'm saying, cause nigga, you work at a, you, you, this is a company, this is a whole business that you representing, this is the front office, nigga, you at the front office talking about you gonna kill us? So then it's a woman, you know what I'm saying, trying to get some help. And, and then she was like, uh, with her kids, 
and she was like, nigga, fuck you, fuck these kids, fuck you, bitch, and just going on one all the way. I hope y'all see this, man, because y'all see this and y'all gonna understand that mental health is real, but when I'm looking at it, I tell her, bitch, I slap you, cause she a bull diger. See, these hoes getting out of line, man. These hoes really getting out of line, bro. Like, I, like I'm solo Lucci or something, bro. Like, I'm not one of them. You can get yourself in a, in a, in, in a bad situation doing that. So I got mad, I'm tired of you. Every time she work, it's a problem. You a roach. You been on 12th Street, nigga, smoking crack, nigga. Oh. Once the crack hit, always, nigga, you ain't trying. She said she been clean for how, 20 years? 15 years. years. You a goddamn liar. 20 years, lie. nah, no way. You lying, bro. 15 minutes. <laughs> 20, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 20 seconds. 15 minutes, right. Yeah. Did you she get, she quit and she came back, then she got fired. That's yeah, the, she the no, first one say, to ever do they that. Say, they, say, they, they say she called she woke up like, damn, I really tripped that. Bitch, I'm drunk. Yeah, I was drunk. I was tripping. You just drunk and woke up without a job now. You know what I'm saying? I I, I really feel like they supposed to have did a little bit better, but they, they took like one thirty off or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? No, but yeah, that's I, right. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. At the end of the day, I said, she just gotta stay away from me. But you had, you saying fuck these kids, nigga. What in your mind to tell you to fuck these kids? Fuck this, this, this woman saying, say, I need, I need another car because she's pregnant and her nigga beat her up. Mexican woman, her nigga beat her up. So I'm like, hold on, my nigga. You tripping. It was just a minute ago. Hold on. Uh, 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 Hucho. No. I just had to get on the woman ass because the woman that's down there right now, a crackhead came in there and was, and was what, tripping right? Passing gas and hey, talk oh. crazy to her. So I say, hold on, man. This woman, nah, like you not finna do that right here, my nigga. She ain't disrespect you, man. You not finna do that, man. Yeah. Stop, man. Not where we live, fam. We not finna do that. We not like she said. She said, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to build it the right way. Like I'm not, I don't need the problem, nigga. Well, I'm not. We don't need that. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's like, damn, you really got people, business people that stay here, like for real, for real, bro. You got, it, it just coming today. You got to be grown about a whole lot of stuff. So everything's good. Thank God. We got this album coming up. We can't be having Naughty moving around in the middle of us doing all this stuff. And it's, you know, it's already stressful. So it's good that he's able to stay put. Nothing too crazy happened. And we can resume on to a normal life. Shit, you know, I just started watching Naughty one day, man, on the YouTube. I be flipping through YouTube a lot. And I seen Pop Austin, you know, I'm from the city, you know what I'm saying? Had to put on one time, and I seen him talking about his tattoos. You know, a couple of characters, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about it, you know what I'm saying, in his past life, you know what I'm saying? I was a part of that shit, you know what I'm saying? But we switched lanes, and we doing better and bigger things, you know what I mean? So, I seen him talking about that issue, and a couple of people, you know what I'm saying? So I just started yeah, watching, like and started really, you know what I'm saying, listening to him, because I ain't really messed too many people no more out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying? The game don't change, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got different rules out here. They playing by their own rules. So you see how the situation went last night, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole different ball game out here, man. It's real life out here, man. No game. So we talked about the situation, made sure that, you know, everything was good. And Juan was there. He pulled up even. So, you know, shouts out to him. He's really been there with Nadi in his uh, time of need, been a friend for him. And that shows that he really cares that he came up there and made sure that everything was good with Naughty. So shout out to you, my guy. I met Naughty, you know what I'm saying, through the Instagram, you know what I mean? I seen him on the live, I started watching the live, and like I say, I've been watching him here and there on the TV. And you know, I really, you know what I'm saying, felt the connection, you know what I'm saying, on really a lot of things he was talking about. So shit, you know, I hit him on the Instagram and shit, he was a real one, so he hit back, you know what I mean? I just told him, man, this is some, some other shit is on, on some real life paid shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, on some pain, some hardship, you know what I'm saying? A lot of situations you talked about in your uh, podcast, you know, interviews and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been through that, I'm going through that now, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel him and I just wanted to reach out, you know what I'm saying? He let me, you know what I'm saying, in the circle, so here we are, you feel me? So, yeah, I know you read over the contract. So, uh, you keep to your contract, it can be an extension. Uh, to your contract, uh, you keep out any music before me, any music before me, anything you didn't drop do not belong to TT Entertainment. It do not belong to TT Cartel and nothing, nobody as in, as of that. Uh, you keep 95% of your royalties and rights to your music and everything. Why? 
you ask me why well you can ask me why so what do you get out of it uh i get that i done my job you know what i'm saying i get i done my job i'm not greedy for one but i get i done my job bro so to see that smile and see that you can put somebody else in a position for me putting you in position to win that's what i do it for five percent to me is good when I know you bring in this revenue, shit, that 5% is good. You feel me? So mm -hmm. that's just what it is. I just hope you do everything you post to, because emotion here well, is what you're going to do with the motion. TTP, I signed him. You know what I'm saying? The reason I signed him, like, I ain't even know he can rap at first. But reason I signed him is because bro stay hit me up every day. Not on no fan shit. You know what I'm saying? But just like on a, on, a, on a neutral, like, nigga, I respect what you doing, nigga. Like, nigga, really, like, I know you love your kids, nigga. I know you love your family, nigga. Like, that's what I'm on, nigga. You feel me? Like, so I'm hearing it, but I just, if, 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 I, if, I, if I respond to everybody, that means my roster be 100 deep. You know what I'm saying? So that's just why, that's how I think it. Then you got to watch people motors. I, I pop too hard, and I'm looking, all right, where you from? He told me where you from. All right, let me. But it, it was just so genuine, you know what I'm saying? So when you get that, and when I heard him, he pulled up and he heard him. No homo, I fell in love with him. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm finna mold you, mature you, and put you on their ass. What's you, what's your plans? Shit, we gonna take off. We gonna do this music. Shit, I wanna do everything. I wanna I wanna do whatever you can teach me, bro. Like I told you the other day, I'm not just your artist, bro. Sure. I'm your janitor. I'm your security. Nah, you ain't no janitor. I'm your, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm your security, I'm your everything, bro. I'll do whatever it takes to get make the team win. And everything I everything I make, I'm gonna bring it back to the pot, bro. At the end of the day, I'm gonna bring it I back just to want, the team. I just want bro. you to get in position that way you can take care of your family. That's what you ain't gotta worry about that. I just want you to put yourself in position to take care of your family. That's it. Definitely, bro. Trying to get us up out the trenches for real, bro. That's it. Because you hard to be. And we, and we out here, and we out here struggling to, to make to make it to make it out this shit, bro. Yeah. And shit, we, this our one opportunity right here. Yeah, you. So we gonna yeah. step. We gonna step on it. We gonna put the foot on the gas, bro. And you can't be. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. This is it. I ain't gonna let up. I ain't gonna let up, bro. I ain't gonna let up. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's TTP, man. Me and Naughty locked in, bro. Shit. Uh. How me and bro locked in shit, I had seen him, you know what I'm saying? I had moved to Austin about a year ago, and then started watching bro podcasts about a year ago, so shit, I seen him, and uh, I was liking what he was saying, like everything he was saying, it was touching, like I'm like, man, this nigga remind me of me, so like, everything this nigga saying, I'm laying up in the bed with my baby mama, you know what I'm saying, watching the videos and shit, we watching, especially back when Offset, when the shit happened with um, Takeoff and Quavo on them, you know what I'm saying? That's when I really caught wind of bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, this nigga speaking some real shit, you know what I'm saying? This nigga speaking on some shit everybody else scared to say, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I've been watching his videos ever since then. Then I guess a couple months ago, I seen bro drop his Instagram. About six months ago, he dropped his Instagram. So shit, I hopped in his DMs and shit. We've been locked in ever since, you know what I'm saying? I told my baby mama, like, man, I... If I could get on Pop Awesome, man, I'd go over there and fuck with them niggas, bro. I like what they got going on. I'm telling them, like, I'm speaking it to an existence, though. You know what I'm saying? And the whole time, it really happened. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, that's what it is. That's what it is. This one, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Take a shot. Come on, D, where your cup at? Take a shot. Yeah. Right here. Let's go. Now, you ain't got this, though. It is that. Oh. Uh -huh. Get some of that in there. Yeah. Pop off. Right. <laughs> Pop way, no way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Hey, man, I love this shit. I love this shit. This shit right here, I love this shit. For Bobby Nick and Judd, I swear to God, I'm getting it. That's all my son. That probably mad at me. 